we are back with another video it's been a while today i have got a video that a lot of people have wanted how to get certain assets from fortnite into unreal engine as you can see right here we have the era skin inside of uefn the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the discord link in the description sadly the only place you can actually download this is discord as far as i'm aware so you're gonna have to go to the discord link in the description and go to the downloads file and download the fortnite porting.zip once you've downloaded it you need to unzip because it will be a zipped file you need to unzip it which you'll then get these two you'll get fortnite porting and blender fortnite porting once you've actually done that you then need to download blender once you have downloaded blender you then need to go open it up and do all that and all stuff. If you don't know how to download Blender, I will try and find a tutorial and have it pinned in the description. I'm not going to show a tutorial because I already have it downloaded. Once you have it open, you want to go to edit and then preferences. And then once preferences is loaded, you want to go to add-ons and click the install button up here. You then want to go to where your actual file is stored for the Fortnite porting. And you want to click on the Blender Fortnite porting zip and click install add-on. Once you've done that, you can search up here porting. And as you can see, we have it right here. You do also want to make sure it is ticked right here. If it's not tick, you want to tick it. And that is the Blender side now done. So what you want to do now is go back to your file of Fortnite porting. And you want to double click the application. It will then, as you can see, load up Fortnite porting, which it is now doing. It's loading all the meshes and stuff like that. So you have to just wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, you'll get a screen that looks like this. And as you can see, it's got all the actual Fortnite skins right here. We then have backpacks, pickaxes, also gliders, pets, toys, emotes, and uh, music packs. And then down here you have props, which these are all the props inside of Fortnite Creative. So if you want just the assets of a prop within Fortnite Creative, you can come here and click on it and we'll cover obviously how to export it in a second but this is a way to basically edit props without having the disallowed object you then also have the galleries folder but for me that takes quite a while to load because of the galleries being quite big you then also have meshes which meshes is a it takes you just like all the files so if you want something a prop that isn't within fortnite creative you can then search for the prop right here. For example, if we do Cyber Dragon, that is the dragon is at the top of Mega City. You can see right here, we click on Cyber Dragon Meshes. It has all the actual mesh parts for the dragon. So that's how you get custom assets, which you have to know the code name for them, or you'd have to just look through the actual uh, files. Also, creative props, you can just go to the props file and look through it from that but today we're going to cover the skins doing the whole prop thing is the same as the skins it's just obviously not got animations or anything like that so before we do anything with the actual skins we're going to go to settings and import slash export options and this is what i currently have mine set to and this works perfectly fine for me so we have scale down to centimeters ticked the top one ticked uh, image format at is PNG, merge skeletons. I have them to off and that to 0.40. Then I have all of these set to off. You can have this one on. So if you want animations to be lengthed correctly inside a blender, that will automatically do that for you. And also if the skin has a custom lobby pose, it will also automatically import the lobby poses. You can also have it automatically import the materials for the skins and the props, which you can turn on and off at the bottom there. So now we have done that, let's pick, let's pick the opal skin, which was added in today's update. So what you want to do is click the skin. If the skin has multiple edit styles like Remy, it will show you up both edit styles or all the edit styles you can. So let's click Opal and we're going to click Send to Blender. Once we have done that, if we then head to Blender, it will take a little bit of time. But eventually once the all the assets have been extracted, as you can see, it is now inside of Blender. We have the skin right here with the bones and also the skeleton. And if we go up here and click this last dot, it should then, as you can see, import the texture. We can also turn the bones invisible for a second so we can see to make sure the skin looks correct. And yep, that definitely does look like it should. So now, if you just want to import the skin, 
and you want to animate it yourself within inside of UEFN, you can do that. Now, let's show you how to import animations. So for the animations, we're going to import an emote. So we're going to go down to the emotes category and we are going to look for an emote we want to import. Uh, let's maybe do, let's do Zanny. And the next thing you want to do once you've selected your emote, you'll see an option right here, skeleton type. This depends on what type of skin you have. We have exported a female skin, so we're going to want to click the female option. If you have imported a male skin, you'll have to make sure you click the male because they do use different skeletons. So once we have the female selected, we are going to want to make sure the bones are selected. So let's quickly just make sure they are. And then we're going to want to click send to Blender again. And once again, that will now send it to Blender, which you can now see that if we play the animation, the actual animation is playing Zanny inside of Blender. Now, if you actually have the setting off that scales the animations to the length, you might see it loop before the actual animation ends. All you need to do is just change this at the end here to make it so the animation actually cuts. And if we now quickly have a look, you can see the animation ends at about, let's just keep playing it. It will end, I think, around here. Yeah, but it ends around, let's say, 280, I think it is. 274, it seems to end. So we want to put the end as 274. So now we have the animation for the skin, and we have the skin. You want to go up here to File, and you want to export as FBX. You then want to find where you want to put your actual FBX. So this is somewhere that you'd be able to get it from, because you would need it again in a second. So we're going to name this to, let's just name it Zanny because we want to, we know it's the Zanny emote. It's the same way, even if you want to export a prop, you just don't add the whole animations part once you imported the prop to Blender. You would then obviously save it as the FBX and import it into UEFN. Anyway, now we have got the skin and we have got it ready we can go to import in uefn so now we have got the zanny ready we can go to import in uefn and find where we have saved the file as you can see i've got it right here so now what we want to do is click open the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the skeleton is set to clear because you don't want it to be a skeleton you want it to create its own skeleton otherwise that could cause problems you can then choose if you want to import a skeletal mesh. If you don't want to, just untick that. That will remove the option for a skeleton, though. No. And as you can see, static mesh and also animations. That's totally fine. You can leave that. If you don't want the animations to import, you can always tick that off. So now what we want to do is click import all. And that will now start importing the asset, as you can see right here. So now it's imported. You might get some errors inside of the message log. As you can see, no smooth group information was found. That's totally fine. I don't ever know what that means, and it's never affected the animations. So we can click off that, and we can also close this content browser. We can now open up the content browser. And as you can see, our Zanny is right here. So we can throw this into the world and we can create it as big as we want so let's just quickly scale it up to let's say 50 so it's actually quite big and as you can see it is now big so the next thing you want to do once you have it in game you want to go to animation to play and you want to select the animation as you can see there is quite a few of them i think any of them should work but if they don't you can always go to the initial play and just run it through to make sure it is the right animation and that seems to work perfectly fine. The actual materials for the skin haven't imported. Now, let's quickly just import the materials and where you can find the materials. So we have been inside of the Fortnite porting file. You can actually then go to assets, game, and then go to characters. If you have imported a character, this could be different if you've imported a prop or something. But for the actual characters, it's in characters, player, we then go to female, uh, medium, I think it should be a medium skin. No, it turns out the skin is classed as large. So large, then bodies, then as you can see, that is the code name for this skin, and then textures. And as you can see, the textures are right here. We then want to go back to UEFN, click import, and paste it up the top here, so we can get straight to the files. We then want to select the files we want to import, so it'd be the actual uh, textures for the face, the hair, and the body. 
and then we want to click open you then want to once they are imported you want to right click them and click create material as you can see it will then make the material of that actual texture and you want to do this for every single one so let's now do it for the hair and let's now also do it for the face there we go that has actually done the textures for all we then want to go down to the materials part and start adding the materials i don't actually know what the materials were called yep there we go the first one is the body so that is now linked up the next one is probably gonna be the facial accessories i'm guessing no the next one is the face so let's quickly just set that there we go the face is now set this one is probably going to be the facial accessories or this one might be the eyes but let's do the yeah that one's the eyes and then the final one is the facial accessories these could all be different depending on what prop you have at, uh, imported you'll just have to keep lining them up until you get them correctly but as you can see we now have the skin all fully textured and animated if we quickly just jump into the game as you can see i'm now within uefn and opal is right here doing the zani emote i launched it with no errors and the skin is working i can also start the game and the skin will also still be there it does also work with props so you can go and import the tomato head and then edit this however you like without the disallowed object bug getting in your way but anyway that is it for this video if you enjoyed do leave a like and subscribe and let me know if there's any more tutorials or any questions you have about this tutorial in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one bye